So today we are going to discuss about isolation of lipase producing bacteria. So we know that lipase is an enzyme that digests the fat molecules into smaller uh, fatty acid molecules and glycerol molecules. Okay. So today we will see how to isolate such bacteria. So lipase is an enzyme the body uses to break down fats in food so they can be easily absorbed in our intestines. So lipase is produced in pancreas, mouth and stomach. Lipases or triacyl glycerol acyl hydrolyse are a class of hydrolase enzyme which helps in the hydrolysis of triglycerides and act on carboxylic ester bonds. Okay. Now this was about humans. Even bacterial and fungal lipases are of mostly extracellular that means they are secreted out of the cell and are produced by uh, submerged fermentation. In case of large scale production, submerged fermentation is the way that is used for the production. Now if you see uh, here, this is the classification of lipase depending on the specificity or the source. So we are now interested in the microbial source and the sources can be fungal, yeast or bacterial lipase. So microbial lipases. Some important lipase producing bacterial gene, uh, gen, genera or genus includes Bacillus pseudomonas and Burkholderia. Now lipases are generally produced on lipidic carbon such as oils, fatty acids, glycerols or twins. Now what are twins? These are non-ionic surfactants like twin AD. Okay. Uh, example, one of the examples of twins which we use in practicals. Okay. So that is also a lipidic carbon source that you can use for the uh, production or isolation of such bacteria and then production of lipids. Now some important lipids producing fungal genera are Aspergillus, Penicillium, Rhizopus and Candida. The enzyme is most commonly purified by hydrophobic interaction chromatography in the addition of some modern approaches such as reverse uh, micellar and aqueous two-phase systems. Okay, So don't go into the purification process uh, because mostly I guess till the masters you just have to isolate the uh, microbial cultures okay, which are able to produce lipases. That's the uh, aim. Now, if you have uh, viva questions on this topic, then you may get a question on applications. So lipases are widely used in the processing of fats and oils, detergents, degreasing formula formulations, food processing and the synthesis of fine chemicals and pharmaceuticals. They are also used in paper, ma paper manufacture and production of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Okay, so lipases they have wide applications and that's the reason microbiologists are interested in the isolation of such microbes which are able to produce lipases. Now for the isolation purpose what you require? You require a sample. It can be soil sample, water, paper mill effluent or oil mill waste. Okay. Now media which is to be used. First, nutrient broth or minimal media which is supplemented with 1% olive oil or tributyrin agar or spirit blue agar. Okay, so first you will see here it is the minimal media which is supplemented with olive oil. So this is the lipidic carbon source that we are giving to the bacteria which are able to produce lipases to break down the fatty acid source. Okay. The other sources of fatty acids which are used other than olive oil are corn oil, peanut oil, egg yolk or soya bean oil. Okay. Now about the tributary agar. So it is actually a differential media and it contains peptic digest of animal tissue, yeast extract, agar and pH is around 7.5. Now tributarine oil is added to this composition okay it is a typical uh, it is a type of lipid called a triglyceride so 10 ml of tributarine oil is added by using a emulsifier like polyoxyethylene 20 
and hydrated castor oil to one liter of this media okay so emulsifiers are used and tributyrin uh, for preparation of tributyrin agar tributyrin oil is added to this composition now fats are formed by ester link or ester linkage between three molecules of fatty acid and one molecule of glycerol now simple fats are known as triglycerides or triacyl glycerols triglycerides are composed of glycerols and three long fatty acid chains okay now enzymes that breaks simple fats into component fat, fatty acid and glycerol they are known as lipase and many bacteria are classified based on their ability to produce and secrete lipases okay so there is difference here a variety of simple fats can be used for this determination depending upon the type of organism that is been tested so tributyrin is the simplest natural or naturally occurring triglyceride and thus a common substitute for lipase testing media tributyrin is too large to enter the cell so lipases are released so that means they are produced extracellularly to break it down prior to the cellular uptake okay so this will go into the principle of using tributyrin agar after hydrolysis the glycerol can be converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and intermediate to glycolysis and the fatty acids are catabolized by the process of beta oxidation and may be converted into variety of end products that can be used by the cell in the energy production and other processes so tributyrin agar principle behind it so it is prepared as an emulsion so that the agar appears opaque okay it is the oil base so it will not get so, uh, get dissolved properly and the agar will have opaque appearance tributyrin added in medium on hydrolysis by esterase enzyme produces butyric acid which is water soluble and therefore a zone of clearance is seen around the colony lipases hydro, uh, hydrolyzing low molecular weight or short chain triglycerides they are referred to as esterases okay so don't get confused lipases which hydrolyze low molecular weight of triglycerides they are termed as esterases also so this is an in vitro method followed to isolate lipolytic organisms and is used for screening lipases or esterases producers tributyrin is too large to enter so lipases are released extracellularly and um, tributyrin is broken down prior to the cellular uptake we have seen this point in our previous slide so this is how your media plate looks like so you can see the agar is opaque there are two cultures which are strict for testing now the one on the right side is positive as it shows the zone of clearance you can see the extracellular lipases has been secreted to break down the tributyrin present in media and one on the left it is negative as there is no zone of clearance okay so zone of opacity zones of opacity are small with no glucose fermenting rods and some organisms may require up to one week to produce a positive lipase reaction next is about spirit blue agar so this is the composition and it is a basal media to which a lipoidal substrate is added okay so casein enzymic hydrolysate yeast extract spirit blue and agar this is the composition with ph 6.8 plus minus 0.2 okay so nearby 7 so 1 liter of sterilized media 1 liter sterilized media by autoclaving at 15 lbs pressure 121 degree celsius for 15 minutes cool to 50 degree celsius and add 30 ml of lipase substrate okay that is olive oil and slowly you have to do this slowly while you are agitating to obtain an even distribution now casein enzyme hydrolysate 
and yeast extract in the medium are source of carbon, nitrogen, vitamins and minerals. And spirit blue is a dye which acts as an indicator for lipolysis. That is the breaking down of lipids. A satisfactory emulsifier can be prepared by dissolving 10 grams of acacia or 1 ml polysorbate 80 in 400 ml of warm distilled water, adding 100 ml of cotton seed or olive oil depending on the availability and agitating vigorously to emulsify. Now the spirit blue media has lipids. If the organism has the enzyme lipase, the fatty acids will be released and the pH will decrease. Okay, fatty acids will be released as in after breakdown and the pH will decrease. It will become acidic and the indicator diet that is spirit blue when the pH decreases a positive result is shown as a dark blue streak in the center of the plate where you have inoculated your culture. Okay, so the principle behind it is it tests for the presence of lipase an exoenzyme that is extracellularly secreted which breaks down the lipids positive test indicates a zone of clearing surrounded or surrounding the bacterial growth now lipid emulsions in the media give it a cloudy appearance once they are hydrolyzed the agar will become clear in the area surrounding the bacterial growth okay uninoculated agar appears hazy or cloudy and in light blue color now casein enzymic hydrolysate or yeast extract they are source of carbon nitrogen minerals and vitamins and spirit blue it uh, the dye which is present in the media will tend to migrate towards the area of lipid clearing and it is considered as an indicator of lipolysis however the dye is heat labile and breaks down after approximately 30 hours in the incubator so the migration of the dye cannot be considered as definitive positive test. It is best to hold the plate up to the light and compare to the uninoculated plate and see or just observe for the zone of clearance. Okay, not the uh, color. Commonly used medium for testing dairy products for contamination of lipase positive microorganisms such as psychrotropic bacteria molds or yeast and can adversely affect the flavor of milk and fatty acid products okay so that's why or uh, that's where the spirit blue agar is widely used for testing lipase positive micro now some of the examples here sources are you can see mammalian fungal bacterial so in case of mammalian horse pancreatic lipase human pancre pancreatic lipase uh, pig pancreatic lipase, guinea pig pancreatic lipase, these are the sources or names. In case of fungi, you have penicillium camemberti, rhizomucor, mihi, then rhizopus or rhizi, aspergillus niger, etc. In case of bacteria, you have pseudomonas capaci, pseudomonas aeruginosa, pseudomonas fragi then Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, etc. Okay, so just quickly we will discuss some viva questions here. So what are lipases? Media which are used for screening or isolation. Name some fungal or bacterial examples of lipase producers. What are different sources of lipids that can be used in media preparation? So I have also discussed this. Then what are the applications of lipases? principle behind spirit blue agar, tributyrin agar, then what are the different emulsifiers that can be used. Okay, so these are the questions which I could think of. So you discuss with your friends and be well prepared for your viva exams. Okay, so I think I, I hope that this video is helpful to you all. Do give a thumbs up, do like my video, do subscribe to my channel and do share these videos with your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that I upload. Thank you.